Hey, this is Judah from Sceneforge Studio. Now, I recently saw a video where Corridor Digital recreated the original Jurassic Park VFX using modern CGI. Now, I'm going to do something similar except using real-time CGI and using Sceneforge Studio, which I suppose is also a new version of modern CGI. In any case, before we get started, it's important to understand what that actually means. So to do that, we have to go back in time. Not quite that far. Previously, when working with computer-generated imagery, the scenes you're looking at would be generated and rendered out frame by frame. This could often take weeks at a time to render just a couple seconds of footage. This can be as simple as a single 3D element in a live action shot, or as complex and expansive as a full 3D animated movie, like Toy Story for example. Now the beauty of real-time graphics is that this is all done on the fly, on demand, up to 120 frames per second, kind of like in a video game. That makes it super easy to see what our final shot will look like while you're actually recording it and while you're actually shooting it. So that's what I'm going to try to do today using Sceneforge Studio. So I have a bunch of assets that we're going to use to kind of create this scene. So let's get started by bringing in this Jeep. It's not quite the Jurassic Park Jeep, but for now it works pretty well. And now that we have our cars here, we of course have to add in our T-Rex because we have a T-Rex. All right, so now aside from the color grade, which obviously is noticeably different, this composition of the scene is actually pretty good. And I added this little character here just to kind of give it something else to be looking at in the scene, I suppose. And now what I'm gonna do is take out my mobile camera tracking and try to actually film a, a little sequence that we can edit together. Now at this point my camera died, but as you can see, I'm using the mobile app to 3D track a kind of like a handy cam type shot of the scene. I then put the footage into Premiere and did my best to color grade it to match the look of the actual movie. Now I'm not the best colorist by any means, but I think after some tweaking it does look pretty good. And with some sound effects it really captures the feel of Jurassic Park, as you can see in the final shot now. Here you can see the completed shot and the original movie side by side. 
While I think it did a pretty good job of replicating the look and feel, I don't think anyone can beat the perfect combination of practical effects, environmental storytelling, and cutting edge CGI for the time that was used in Jurassic Park. That being said, because this was done completely in real time, total turnaround time for this was just about an hour, which is pretty crazy. If you want to get started doing stuff just like this completely for free, you can go to sceneforge.app. I'd love to see what you create. Thank you so much for watching.